Hey, I'm Dash, and I'm going to tell you about how the piano works. I've been playing piano for about 11 years, and I probably will keep playing piano for the rest of my life. And some people say that if you learn to play the piano, you can pretty much learn to play in any instrument, which I think is pretty cool. So let's start. So when you press a key on the piano, it makes a small hammer inside the piano hit a string or strings. So that's the hammer inside the piano hitting the strings. Each key is connected to its own hammer which hits a specific string or number of strings. When the hammer hits a string, it vibrates and makes a sound that is tuned to a specific pitch. The vibration of the string passes onto the soundboard under the strings, making it vibrate and resonate. The soundboard gives each piano its own unique sound and also helps to amplify the sound. In addition to the hammer, there's also something called a damper. The damper is on top of the key, and it's lifted when you play a key, allowing the string to vibrate and resonate. When you release the key, the damper moves back onto the string to stop the vibration. So even though there are 88 keys on a piano, they have more than, the piano has more than 88 strings inside of it. A typical piano may have as many as 230 strings. This is because many of the high notes have three strings, like these ones up here. And the lower notes have, some of the lower notes have two strings, like these ones down here, and the lowest notes have one string. And the lower notes have thicker strings, just like this one, to create a lower note, and the higher strings have thinner strings to create the higher notes. Pianos also generally have two or three pedals, shown down here, that you play with your feet. So this is a pedal, and what it does is, if you come back up here, it sustains the, that lifts up all of the dampers at the same time. So as I'm pressing a pedal, which I'm doing right now, you can see that all of the dampers for all of the keys are being lifted up, which allows all of the strings to vibrate or resonate at the same time. So if I play some notes on the piano while I'm pushing on the pedal, I can keep the pedal down and the strings will still vibrate because the dampers aren't on the strings and I'm not playing. So that's pretty cool. Um, so, so they play all at the same time if you sustain the pedal, the damping pedal. So now to put everything together, I'll show you a little section of one of my favorite songs to play on the piano using everything I've said today. This is by Rachmaninoff, he's a classical composer. <laughs> Thanks for watching.